Good morning, guys. So today we had a request to draw a moose head. Um, I personally love to draw moose. Um, I even have my own little drawing over here that I've had for a little while now. It's a little, it's a little bit more intricate, you know, not not too bad. Um, but we're not gonna draw that one today. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and draw this guy. So you are gonna need a some paper. And then if you have colored pencil, great um, markers and crayons. But to start out with, you're gonna want just a regular pencil, something that you can erase with. Um, we're starting to get a little bit more complicated on our drawings. So we're starting out with some guide, some guidelines every time we do a drawing. Um, and those guidelines are the things that you're gonna end up erasing. Um, they really just help you in determining how big you're gonna make it and where you're gonna put it on the page and, and keeping you kind of in, in the area you need to be in, okay? So um, again, some paper and some pencil and let's get started. <clears throat> All right. So we're gonna start with a little circle here. And it's gonna be more of like an, an oval, a weird shaped one. Honestly, it looks a little bit like a jelly bean. And um, like we've done in the other videos, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to make it very light because like I said, we're gonna erase it. Then we're gonna do another one kind of up here. Okay. And this, je this jelly bean type shape, we made a little bit big, but that's okay because we're just kind of using it as a guideline, okay? So we're gonna start his face first. So right up here, we're gonna start the top of his nose. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker because this line's staying. Then we're gonna come down and you're gonna make this kind of square, like a rounded square. And then kind of come around and lift up just a little bit. So you have this little curve. And if you've ever seen a moose, um, they're huge. So we want his face to kind of reflect that. So we're gonna come right down here and then we're gonna start curving it up. And you're gonna curve all the way up here. Okay, so we're gonna go past this and we're gonna come like around to the top like that. Okay, so it's gonna be the outside of his face. Then we're gonna start at the bottom here and kind of curve up and then come around. All right. So we wanna get his nostrils in here. Now moose have really big nostrils, so we're gonna do a couple really big circles or ovals really. They don't have to be perfect. Just like that. And you're gonna end up coloring them in. We're gonna draw a couple lines here just to outline his little nostrils. Okay. And now we're gonna draw his eyes in here. So in this portion, we're gonna come above where his nose is, right? And we're gonna do a big oval. That's gonna be the outside of one of his eyes. And I'm gonna draw another one next to it. Again, these don't have to be perfect by any means. And then see this line that we had, that, that grid line we had there? We're gonna erase that because we don't need that guy anymore. Okay. So then you're gonna draw a couple of other circles inside here, and that's gonna be his actual eyes. Okay. And now I'm not coloring these in yet, just because we're gonna go back in and color them with colored pencil. And you can choose whatever colors you want. Um, I have some browns here and blacks to color in like his nostrils and his eyes, but it's really whatever color you want to use which is why I'm not doing it, so that you guys can really get creative with the colors that you use on your mousse. Now we have a lot of mousse in Colorado, and I got to see a couple once, and they were actually like, 
fighting with each other. Oh, it was amazing. But in Canada and a couple other countries, like in the back countries, they are huge. They're way bigger than the ones we have here. Okay, so now we have his eyes in here. Let's give him a little smile. So we're gonna start up here, do a little curve, and then come down on the side. Now that we've got his face in here, we can erase these lines that we're not using anymore. Okay. All right, so now let's draw his body. So we're gonna start about here where his eye is, where the center of his eye is. We're gonna start here, do a curve, and then come down like that. Now, if you've ever seen a moose, they have a lot of hair on the top of their head, and then they have like a big, it looks almost like a big beard underneath. So we're gonna kind of draw that in. You can make it as big or as little as you want. I'm just gonna give him his other part of his body over here. And then the top of his head, he's got some of that hair too. So I like to just kind of do that here. And let's erase this line on his head since his hair will be going over it. Okay. So now let's draw in his ears. So you're gonna start where the top of his hair is here. And just nice and big, cause you know, most they have big ears. You're gonna draw another little curve line in there. That's gonna be the inside of his ear. And draw another one on this side too. Okay. Now if you weren't to draw his um, antlers, he'd kind of look like a donkey right now. But let's get his antlers in there. That's gonna be the biggest thing. All right, so we're gonna start at the, t the center of his head. So behind his little hair here. All right, we're gonna do like three curves and then a, the third one is gonna be the biggest one. That's gonna be the top of his antler. Now when you get here, you're gonna do a big curve down and then come up to behind his ear like that. You do the same one, same on the other side. And it's totally fine depending on where you drew your moose if your antlers go off the page. If they do, that's totally okay. Start behind your ear and just do a nice curve around like that. Okay. All right, so now you have your moose drawn. So I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna color in the eyes. You want to leave that little circle there you want to leave that white because that's just reflecting light into his eyes it kind of just makes them you know gives them life all right and so these are the two of the darkest areas of your moose now from here you guys can color whatever you want whatever colors i'm definitely interested to see you know what you've done um we're going to be doing a contest this week um, it's more of a raffle. So we want to see, you know, we want to see all the pictures you guys have drawn. So have your parents post those. And every time you post, they post on um, the one that we're going to do, then your name gets entered into a raffle. At the end of the week, we're going to draw a name from that raffle. And that uh, lucky kid will get a brand new set of colored pencils and a brand new sketchbook that we will mail out to you. So make sure to tell your parents about that and have them look at the page and we will... Make sure to get those details out today. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.